Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. The previous time we already finished Dynamo tutorials for beginners, so you can check right now on your screen. Now we will switch to the advanced course, to the Dynamo advanced course we will call it. And in this course we will start to use our knowledge to create some buildings, to create some incredible things, to calculate and everything more and more and more. Today we will do the CCTV in Vision, so you can see it already in Dynamo. We can manipulate with all the things what we have. Each dot can manipulate and can make it more interesting tower by a few seconds. So if you are interested in how you can use Dynamo for creating, for example, CCTV in Vision, let's get started. So, and as always, I will start from the scratch, so you can just follow me to create some interesting the things in Dynama. Actually, you will create the CCTV in Dynama. So, uh, if you're watching my previous tutorial, we will start from the uh, things what you already know, like uh, creating the dots, creating the points. So, this is the reason why you should know the points. So, let's start from the point, point by, um, by coordinate, and here is our first point, as you can see right on your screen. So actually we need like few points, I will create like one point, let's create the second point, I'll just copy it, you can use the Ctrl C, Ctrl V, just copy paste. And we need actually six points, let's create six points. Uh, we have two, we have now uh, four, and we have six. Okay, awesome. The first point it will be um, like, um, like scratch one, it will be on the, our uh, first coordinate, so it's not will change the position. But the second point will change the position, and we will use the sliders. So let's use the sliders, slider, mm, slider number slider, and we will change the. Uh, just click on this small button, and we will change the setting of this uh, small slider. So I will make from the. Uh, uh, let's make from the minus 10 to the 10 and step by one so it means it will go like from the uh, 8 uh, from the 10 to the minus 10 okay and let's make like maybe 10 I don't know let's make it 9 maybe okay uh, and let's connect this uh, uh, slider to the X position okay so now you can see here is our dot uh, let's copy that uh, slider we will just uh, use only this slider this useful for us and let's connect it to the uh, y position so we get the point so here is this our second point okay so uh let's copy it again i will copy both of them you can copy only one it's only up to you and let's create here i will make like zero here let's make maybe uh, seven okay maybe seven Let's connect this one to the uh, X position and this one to the Y position. Okay, here you can see where is our dot, but what the thing? I want to make it extrusion. I, I mean, the, I want to make the uh, height. If you want to create height for this point, you should add to the Z position. Okay, so Z position, uh, let's connect it and let's make it nine, let's say, like a German nine. Okay, so we did it. Uh, I will push it a bit down because uh, actually we don't have a lot of the space. Uh, we have a lot of the space, but it's uh, hard to understand where, where is what. So let's copy uh, again the slider and we will make here the Y position on this side. Okay, here is Y position and let's make it minus seven. Minus seven, minus seven, it's here. Okay, as you can see, here is the point. And let's make one more uh, slider and we will make the, to the Z position and 10 plus 10. So let's check it out what's going on now on our um, on our screen. Okay, here is nothing, uh, nothing interesting right now. Uh, I will make it too useful for you. Let's make like this and a bit on the right side and my notes will be on the left side so it's easy will be to understand you what's going on okay so we need finish last two notes okay let's again uh, copy the slider okay here is the new slider and we will do the again minus seven minus seven let's make let's connect to the uh, y position and we need now z position too Z position will be again 10. Let's connect it. 
Okay, as you can see, one, two, three, and we need one more. Okay, so, and the last one, it will be more like nine. Let's copy it. Here will be nine. Let's copy to the, uh, let's connect to the X. And again, nine, but I will make it separate because maybe I will change it later on the Y position. And here will be again 10. Why I not using the one slider if I'm using the 10, for example, the number? Because I want to make it variable. For example, in the some moment, I can change it by just one slider. Okay, what's going on now? As you can see, we get shape like this. Okay, this is pretty awesome. Uh, now we should create something interesting. Now we should uh, create the lines. Let's create the lines. Okay, now you will uh, understand uh, shape after we will create the lines. Just right click on the, your screen, write the line and you will see the uh, by start point and end point. So this means you need only just two points to create the line. And let's connect this one points to point and we get the first line. It's here. Let's copy that. Uh, here will be connected the first one and the second one. Okay, we get this point. Let's copy that. Uh, here I will copy that one and that one. Uh, not, not that one. Mm, this one I will copy to this side. And yeah, yeah, it's right. It's right, but the size is not right. Let's check it out. Here is the minus and 10. Here the eyes, ah, here the minus seven, sorry. Made this my mistake. Here is the minus seven. And here will be zero. Here is the zero. Minus seven, nine. Okay, here is everything all right. Here is my dot. So let's say we'll check it out. Uh, yes, here is everything right. Let's say, let's check the all the numbers. Uh, here is will be, uh, where is the my first? First it's zero. Uh, the second one it's nine. After that, it's uh, uh, minus one. Why it's minus one? Why I did? Oh, yeah, I didn't change it. That's why. Minus one. After that, it's zero. Minus seven. Zero. Mm -hmm. Here it's zero. Okay, now shape it's more understandable, as you can see. Okay, zero. Uh, let's check uh, the other things. Zero, minus seven, ten. Uh, here is not minus seven, here is nine. Oh, I forgot one thing. <laughs> that's why, that's the problem. Uh, we need one more slider, here will be nine. Let's make it nine. Mm, or ten, it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, nah, yeah, this, this shape we want. Uh, okay, here is now my minus seven, ten, minus... Here is nine and nine and 10. Okay, everything perfect. So now it's the shape what I want. Let's uh, create one more line. And now this line will be connected again by this point and that point. And we get this line. Okay, we need one more line. Actually, we need two more lines. Uh, let's connect this point and this point. We get the second line and now we need connect and first line and the second line i mean first point and the second point uh our first point is here let's connect our first point yeah actually not not first point the second point i think this point uh aha uh -huh, this point this is third point sorry no oh second point yeah it's my mistake okay as you can see we get all the lines uh, it's fully parametrical, as you can see. We can change any direction, for example, this one, and maybe I want to make it more equal, okay? And maybe I will do it like this, I don't know. So, it's variable, it's working, you can use it. For example, you can check by this, uh, for example, click on the, your point by coordinate, and you will see which the dot you will change. For example, we can change this dot. Okay, we get the shape. Um, this is pretty easy, as you know, just uh, only about the numbers and uh, imagination and that's it. So, and now we will create something interesting like um, the spline. The first, before we will make the some thickness of that, we should combine all our lines, because now each line is separate. We should make like list, list of the lines. So, as you understand, we need a list. Let's create the list. Okay, we have like three, six uh six lines so we need five 
because we have the zero don't forget uh, this is like uh, programming programming starting from the zero not from one and that's why we need five on this line and connect one by one line to this item and I'll show you difference why we're doing that so let's connect done and let's check let's check the uh, result here as you can see only one line let's check result here just you can see only one line let's check result here you see you can see six lines and now Revit, especially Dynamo, will understand these lines like one line, like union line. So this is important for now, for us because we want to create the uh, spline, T-spline. So let's create the T-spline. Before we will do that, you should go to the settings, you should go to experimental and you should uh, check on able T-splines node. If you don't do that, you not will able to do what I will do right now. And uh, who those who are using their own uh, data, not like millimeters, maybe you are using the meters. Uh, if you cannot see anything or if you have some troubles with the nodes, you should go to the settings geometry scaling and use extra large because if you are using the medium one it's working only before 10,000 uh, units so it's uh, around 10 by 10 meter so it's totally small if you are creating some big city for example if you are using the extra large as you can see here it's already 10, uh, 100 kilometers so this is reasonable okay so what we are gonna use now we need T-spline surface by mm, pipes. So let's write here TS. Uh -huh. TS spline surface. Okay, I will go here. You will find you will find it under the uh, geometry. After that, T-spline surface, and here the pipes. Build the pipes. Let's click on that. You don't need some special exp uh, extension. This is um, this is like vanilla thing from the Dynamo. So if you have Dynamo, you have the displays. And now the easily just connect list to the curves. Done. We get the shape. Of course, its shape not looks looks uh, awesome because we now need manipulate with data. Let's manipulate with data. It's not a problem because we have fully parametrical thing. So let's check it out. Uh, I want to check, for example, uh, this point first. Wait, this point. Mm, let's find this point. I think it's this one. Okay. Let's make the slider. Mm -hmm. Here will be 10. Okay. And here we can make this smaller. So let's check it out. Yeah. And now I want to check this point. Where is this point? I think it's not the first one, but it's uh, third one. Oh, the second one. Okay, and let's change the position. Okay, here it will be zero, but here I will just extend to under this. Okay, as you can see, it's really easy and it's changing in real time. Who those who wants, for example, change the thickness of that? Let's copy the um, slider, and we will change the slider from the zero point five. To the two and the step will be 0 0.1 you can make even smaller let's make for example 1.7 and let's connect this to default radius because default radius right now it's only one and as you can see it changed we can increase it as you can see it's going to bigger and bigger or you can disagree for example like smaller and smaller so by this way you can create interesting form but it's not finished i will show you how you can make it more uh Zaha Hadid style. Uh, you need boolean. So let's write the bool and you will find here the bool. How I understand uh, what the type of the command I need. Just uh, hold your mouse to the some function like in smooth mode and you will see bool default value false. Uh, we want make it true. So to make it uh, to make it smooth we might ch change our default value to the uh, true and that's why we need to use the boolean so bool is here let's leave it on the false and let's connect to the smooth and now i will just click on the true and we get this this shape cool right and as i said it's fully parametrical you can change for example the size you can change now for example some point somewhere and it will be changed immediately pretty awesome okay this Mm, this like trailer of the my advanced course of um, 
Revit of Dynamo, I mean. Uh, it will, will be fully uh, free, no worries about that. But I need some support from you. Like, share, comment, everything like that. And uh, if you want to be my support, you can be my support. If not, you can be just uh, share my video and you also will help me on the equal uh, stage. Okay, guys, uh, thank you so much. I hope it was interesting for you. And the next tutorial will be much more interesting than, than this that one. Thank you and see you next time. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find bottle of this Dynamo script or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way, you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.